Welcome to Spacey's Arcade. Lots of good news from Pimple FX with their latest release. A couple of great new Zen tables and of course Whirlwind as well uh, from Williams. So great releases, but we also have the added support for native DMD for an external DMD in your cabinet setup, which is awesome news. And they have elected to interface and integrate with Freezy's awesome DMD extensions guys, which is uh, fantastic news. And that means that uh, the external DMD should stay perfectly usable as they continue to update the program in the future. So what do you have to do? Well, inside actual Pimple FX, you can just enable the external DMD, but that's not gonna work unless you have it set up in terms of Freezy's uh, DMD extensions, and specifically the 64-bit version of the DMD extension, which you may not have if you are a VPX user like I am and running cabinet support natively uh, as, as you may be currently doing. And the reason for that is, is that probably the majority of you running VPX are running 32-bit. And if you're running 32-bit, then you won't have the, um, well, you may not have the 64-bit version of Freezy's extension. So we need to get that downloaded, guys. I'm, I'm assuming a little bit here that you are a bit of a cabinet user and you know what I'm talking about. Feel free to drop any questions down below, of course, if you're lost, and or head over to the, the Spaces Discord forum and we can have a chat about it over there. But it's relatively straightforward. You just head over to GitHub to the Freezy DMD extensions. You will end up at this page here. And then as you scroll down, there's full details about the extension and it shows you and talks about how it's used with different pieces of uh, Pimple software. And you can see, of course, it's also got Pimple FX has been added now as an entry. And if you flip down, you want to read all this stuff. If you haven't read it already, you can. But if we get down to actual Pimple FX, then there's this new entry in here that talks about it from mid-June 20. 23, which is the time of this video, we got the official support um, for the DMD device. And here's the note here saying that uh, it needs to be 64 bits. So you need the DMD device 64.dll, guys. So you need to get that downloaded. Um, the other thing you need to make sure that is set up, and this will be set up if you are a VPX cabinet user uh, through pin MAME, you already have an environment variable set. But if you don't, or if you want to check where your DMD uh, device uh, is being looked for in terms of environment variables, all you need to do is just open up Windows, type env, and it comes up and says edit the system environment variables. Just click on that. And down the bottom here, you've got environment variables. And if we look down in the variable section, you can see it says DMD device underscore config and then it's got a location for where the any file is, guys. So you need to have that set, um, and the DMD device any will be where you install the GitHub uh, Freezy's DMD extension. All right, so make sure you've got that environment set, guys, and that's pretty much all you need to do there. Otherwise, you just need to go to the release page. If I scroll back up to the top here on the right-hand side, you can see it's got releases, and the 2.12 is the latest. Let's click on that. And then here we go. This is the section where the files are. And you can just download uh, either the MSI or the zipped version. Of course, that's a straight install from the MSI. Either way is good. What you will need to do, though, and especially if you don't have both, but you should update to the 2.12 anyway, is download both the 64 version and the 86 version. Now, when you do that, guys, you can then install it by simply just extracting the files and putting them into the place of your, your choosing. What I did is I actually extracted the 32-bit version here, and then from the 64-bit version, I just copied across the DMD device uh, uh, 64, all right? So you don't have to copy the whole of the 64 version over. You just need to bring that device over as well and, and leave it in there. And that way we've got the 64 version and we've got the 32-bit version here. Of course, if you had a DMD uh, device already installed, um, you wouldn't want to go probably over your old any file because in there you have a couple of settings in terms of if you want your virtual DMD set uh, and or which type of external DMD device that you have. Uh, if it's a pin to DMD or a pin DMD 2 or 3, 
uh, those settings are going to be in there. We're going to have a look in there in a moment anyway because I need to show you some things that need to be configured. But ultimately, as it stands, that's all you need to do. Have that environment set. Make sure you've got the 64-bit DLL in your directory where DMD EXT is. And effectively, you can go in to um, Pimble FX and enable the external DMD and it will work. But guys, there's a couple of extra things that you want to do to uh, complete the setup and I'll show you those now. So we're just going to hop into the DMD device.any file and the key thing in here that you want to, to make sure that you've got set is that you want to actually turn on this if you don't have it turned on already and you may not um, in terms of if you're using this with VPX. So you want to have the DMD that renders on a computer monitor actually enabled to true. Now normally I have this to false if I'm just using the external DMD. But the thing about Pimble FX is, is that it's a all or nothing switch. You either have the internal DMD that they um, support and then of course you can you know move that onto a separate monitor like I've got here or you choose external DMD. So you can't have one or the other and you can't choose for specific tables. Now that actually becomes problematic because some of the new Pimble FX tables have got high quality color, high resolution DMDs, and they do not look good um, on a normal external dot matrix with display. So, so for those ones, you want them to display on your normal um, monitor or on your back glass if you don't have a third monitor, guys. So anyway, that's how you're going to do it. So you're going to do it through here. Now, there is a small problem with it currently in relation to how it renders, at least on my setup. So I'd be interested to hear from you guys when you do the same setup, if uh, it works for you rendering the full color DMDs from some of the newer tables from Zen, um, just even onto the LCD. So anyway, have that uh, enabled to true. And then all the way down, oh, there, there's the, uh, the window position, which for that um, virtual uh, screen you will need to set. Now I cheated a little bit quite easily because I just pulled up in the uh, Steam apps under common Pimble Effects, Pimble Effects Mods cabinet. There is a settings file there and if you open up that settings file then you will see that it's got all the settings for the dot matrix window and the back glass and so forth that you you know that you would have moved around within Pimble FX. It saves it into this file, so it's really easy because it's got the uh, the position x position three thousand and y position zero, the width and the height, and you can just bring that over into DMD uh, INI for the position of the virtual. Uh, window so that when you select that of course it will come up on your little virtual screen and when you don't have that running then it's going to come up on your external DMD and so how do you choose that because you can't do that natively within Pimble FX itself so what we have to do is down the end of the, the file here and this is explained in the instructions on Freezy's site there, but I'll just show you my little setup here just so you can see it. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, I've just added these extra entries. And you can see for Tales of the Arabian Nights, we have this number, which is the table number. Now that can be found as actually a link, which you can see back on Freezy's uh, site there that says for customizing games in the DMD device any, see this list of IDs for all supported games. And if you go to that list, that page, then you'll see all the uh, Pimble FX tables and you can see the ID number for each one of those guys. So that's how you, so you set this up here specifically so that you can control what you want to see in terms of DMD for each table. So you can see here for Tales of the Arabian Nights, it's number 132. If I head back up here on the, on the list, we should see that is there, 132, Tales of the Arabian Nights, yeah. And I have set it up to be the pin two DMD. And again, you might have um, a pin DMD two or pin DMD three, depending on the hardware that you have it. Mine's a pin D, 
to DMD enabled. I've got it true. I've turned virtual DMD enable false. So even though we have it set as being enabled true in this configuration file, each table now I can turn it on and off, which is awesome. You could just leave it and you can have it on both. There's no problem with that. So you could have it both displaying on the external DMD and the internal. But it depends on the, the, the type of DMD guys and if that looks good or not. Uh, some will work on both, some don't look good on one or the other. And then alphanumeric enabled is the same thing here. We'll have that false. Uh, it's not an alphanumeric tables, tales, Arabian nights. If we go to Brothers in Arms, which does have a you know color, full color DMD from Zen. Uh, again, uh, I've chosen the, the table number there. I've turned off the pin to DMD because it's basically unreadable just because of the high resolution, unfortunately, on a real DMD. And I've enabled the virtual DMD to be true. And then I positioned it, guys, using those position settings, which I got from uh, my Pinball FX any file. And unfortunately, at the moment, it's doing this. And it's not displaying properly. And it's doing this for all the color DMD um, that, uh, that's on the, the later releases, especially of um, Zen's tables. All the earlier ones, the Marvel and stuff with the you know the lower typical orange related DMDs, they all work perfectly. But yeah, the full color ones don't work for me, guys. So I don't know if it's something on my system or not, or something that needs to be fixed uh, in the um, Freezy DMD XT. But for now, this is how you would at least do it and set it up, and hopefully that will be fixed later. For Dr. Dude, um, I've actually opted, this was a bit of an example that Freezy put on his site himself, and then he actually put on here the alpha numeric enabled was true, and then he set some positions to have that set up for the, uh, the virtual DMD to show that. For me personally, I love seeing the alpha numeric just on a real DMD, so you can see here I've got pin to DMD enabled equals true and false for the others, and quite frankly, I wouldn't need this other stuff here. It's just an example to show that if you did have alphanumeric enabled, you would need to set those settings for where you want to see it on your screen, guys. So that's it. Uh, once you've done that, you are good to go. Of course, you'd have to do that across all the tables to set them up how you want, which is a little unfortunate because there's a bit of time involved in setting that up. Um, but once it's done, guys, it's done. And then you can be enjoying some beautiful external DMD goodness. And of course, all we need next is for DOF links to happen, guys, so we can have all our DOF effects. And hopefully, given that they've supported uh, the DMD XT in this way, hopefully they can do the same thing for DOF links. And then, guys, we can have all the force feedback and we will be humming, truly. Then, of course, just surround sound and uh, the list goes on. But this is a good start, guys. Um, kudos to Zen for getting this sorted for us cabinet users. Very exciting times moving forward. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more content like this. And also, of course, I'm going to be going through the new, new tables. We get a bit of a SpaceX experience across those and lots of other cool content coming up. Uh, and including another volume from our Flashback Essential series, guys. So stick around, and uh, we'll see you soon. But until then, ciao for now.